Uh, next up. Okay, so these are the stamps, which is, of course, the most exciting part. And I apologize now, it takes me forever to get through them. Um, I feel like I've been talking for ages. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to have a drink of water after this. Um, but anyway, I love all these sort of things. So this is one stamp set from Newton's Nook. This is the one I meant to get like four orders ago for Christmas, and I accidentally got the other one because I didn't look at it properly. Look, I love the other one anyway, but this one's Christmas themed. I like that there's a cute little cat hanging. And you've also got this super cute kitten here with the scarf on it. So, and I just want to put it in like, you know, a snowbank, <laughs> just sitting out on the sidewalk, sitting there, you know, and little snowflakes, you know, all the way around it. So that's cute. And then you've got this little kitten that's being very mischievous and playing with the light bulbs. And it's great because I can multicolor the light bulbs, put glossy accents on them, watercolor or Spectrum Noir pencil the kitten, and I think it will look really super sweet. So uh, that will look great. And then you've also got this little kitten with the milk and cookies. Um, and I don't know, they're just very adorable images that are great for coloring. And my husband and I are looking at getting ourselves a little kitten. So. Once I get the kitten and know what it looks like, I can start coloring these little kittens, like these little kittens to match. So, um, yeah, so that's why I got that. You also get uh, a few other, like, sentiments. You get Maui Christmas, Deck the Halls, Light Up the Holidays, and you get a little holly, and you get a Santa on, like, a little taggy thing. Now, this one's called Newton's Holiday Mischief. So, um, yeah, but I think it's super sweet, and... I like that they're a really thin um, stamp, like the outlines are quite thin compared to say that one, which is very thick, but this one's quite thin, so it's just a little bit different um, style, so I do like that. Um, next up, I got this one from Avery L, and ooh, was I ever excited, because it came out like uh, two days before I put the order in, or one day, or something super close, so it was just very good timing, and I didn't even know this one was about to be released, I had no idea, I just one day showed up. Um, and this one's called More Stories. I have the other storybook one, which is why I got this one. I love the other one. And this one has four new um, images plus heaps more accessories. So we've got a hedgehog, the penguin, which I've showed you that I've, you know, that's this penguin here. So I just think it's adorable. They all look like they're sort of looking up in the air too, which is great. Um, not as much as the other one. These ones, like, maybe not quite as much as the other stamp set that look really look like they're looking up. Um, but you've got the fox and you've got a cute little bunny as well. Um, and it's facing the other way than the other one and a little bit smaller as well. And then like all these accessories, there's so many for scene building. You've got more of the grass, you got, you know, a mushroom, little swirls, you got leaves falling, dragonflies, two different ones. Heaps of flowers to like make a row of flowers instead of using the grass. And you've got a moon, a kite, snowflakes, a little bow. I'm assuming it's a bow. Yeah, it's a bow. And then you've also got the banner. And you've got sentiments thinking of you, missing you, and love you. So I just, I really like the style of the stamp set to begin with. And the fact that they made one to match the other one really means that I can use both of them together because it's kind of a different style to any other of my critters. So now I've got something to mix and match with. So super, super happy. Like I've said, this penguin has already been used in one Christmas card and most likely will get used in more. Um, so, and like this cute little fox, you would be great sitting in a pile of leaves. You would be so nice. And I could have um, the trees from the Mama Elephants, um, Winter Wonderland, sort of make a big foresty scene or even use the lawn fawn uh, into the woods. Is it into the woods? Yeah, anyway, the one with the birch trees. And just make a little scene up for him sitting in the sitting in the woods in a pile of leaves or something like that. So I think that that's super, super cute. This guy would be cute with that little bow in his hair. I just, I don't know, they're just such fun characters and critters and everything else that um, this this one really should be a lot of fun. and making, like using my stitched um, hills borders to make fun scenes and that's what I really like with my card making is making scenes with critters in them. So super excited to add that to my collection. This one here, 
I was really thrilled with it. Like it's another Avery L one and it's called North Pole. And I love the Santa. Um, he looks like he's walking on a mission in some direction. You've got this cute little adorable penguin that you know you could have three or four all just following him along. Um, and then his hat's actually made up with sentiment. So there's three options. There's Merry, Jolly, and Ho Ho Ho. Um, you can actually probably just, you know, partially ink it so that you would just get the hat um, and not worry about the sentiment. So I intend to do that as well. So I'll, I'll use, you know, some with the, the sentiment attached and some with just the hat. I do want to use a Santa because it's a solid um, hat, whereas this one's an outline. So I would really like to do more non-traditional, you know, Santas, like the more the ones like the St. Nicholas or like the older Santas that are either wearing green or the brown. So I'd like to change the Santa up a bit and make, um, uh, you know, not just the standard red and white one. So um, definitely going to use him in a few different ways. He also comes with the North Pole and I really like this. It's got a little snow at the top of it. Um, and there's three parcels as well and they all look like they're just, um, you know, not, not the super fancy parcels. They look more like ones that you would, you know, old packages that you used to get in the, you know, craft brown paper bags and stuff like, or not bags, but you know, the craft paper parcels from way long time ago. So that's what I really liked about them. Um, and then you got these little stars as well. And um, I just, look, I really just think this was something completely out there. I haven't seen anything at all similar to this. So I really like it. Um, and I'm definitely going to have, because he's walking this way. So I'm going to have like a longer card and he's on a mission going somewhere, you know, and you can have the North Pole and behind and that sort of thing. So it was just something very different from anything I've seen before. Um, okay, so next up is a Lawn Fawn stamp set. This is kind of sad, but I'm getting to the point where I now have most of the stamp sets I want from Lawn Fawn, so I don't really need much more from them. I mean, it's great, but it's, you know, I don't even want to know how much I spent on it. <laughs> but anyway, um, this one here is called Sweater Weather, and what made me truly fall in love with this one, and I didn't get it the first time it came out, um, because I hadn't really seen it used yet, and then they had it in Inspiration Week, and I loved this, which I didn't think I would, but it looks so good framing critters from plenty of different sets. It's such a great frame um, used on, and they had heaps of different examples, and you can use it this way, or, you know, this way, and it just looked really great as a focal point um, on a card, so it made really nice, clean and simple cards. Like, as much as I love making my scene cards, it's really nice to have, um, you know, something different to do with the, you know, more clean and simple look. So they had heaps where it was just pattern paper in the background, and then they had this as a focal point and something, a critter sitting on top of it, and it looked really stunning. So I was really impressed with this frame and how elegant it looked on um, cards with little critters inside. And... As far as the rest of the stamp set goes, um, there's heaps of pluses. <laughs> there's this great tree which you could use sort of like all season, like it's bare leaves so you can use it easily for you know, Christmas or winter, sorry, with um, no leaves on it. And then you also can, you know, because it's got this stamp set here that sort of fits on top of it, um, you can ink this up in different colors, so green for summer or spring and, you know, reds and oranges and whatever else for fall. Um, and for spring, you can actually get like a little pretty um, flower from a different stamp set. There's heaps in the Lawn Fawn ones that are solid flowers, and you can just stamp solid flowers around the tree as well for more of a spring look. So I think that would look really, really pretty. Um, then you, the accessories you get with this one are a lot of solid images. So there's actually three, so four sizes of leaves, two bigger, a medium, and then one little one. You also get like a little apple. Um, and an acorn and then two flowers in a solid heart plus some swirls to you know show movement if leaves are falling so I think that's really great and I really want to use these solid images um, with you know different inks to make piles and piles of you know leaves that you've raked up sort of thing and have a critter sitting inside of them or use the joy to the woods um, stamp set with the birch trees and make this gorgeous scene with it so um, this is a really good well, 
it's kind of like a mix like it's these parts here for great for build a scene and then this one here is great for cleaning simple so it's kind of cool it's like more of a two-in-one sort of thing um, you also get sentiments there's hello smile happy fall and falling for you they're really big in your face you know um, sort of stamp sets I'll definitely use the hello and the smile but I'm not too sure how much use I'll get out of the other two um, I mean I can sort of cut up that one and have the happy for something um, but yeah it'll just depend on because they're very obviously fall oriented so you can't use them year-round um, unless you use the falling for you like Valentine's Day you could do that um, so yes yeah, so I'm really excited to be able to play with this one uh, the next one I got is another long fawn one this one's called bows and holly so it's actually from I don't know it's probably one of their like in the first year stamp sets they came out with for their Christmas line and I never had it and I kind of just you know it wasn't on the must-have list but as I said before I'm starting to get to the point where I've kind of got everything I want which is great um, so this one sort of came to the top of the pile I guess um, and it's Christmas time and they're gorgeous images images so I really really love this wreath and of course um, with the wreaths you can either color them traditional green and red or do like a white and gold or you know do brown with um, holly over top of it too like one of those twig wreaths and then the big beautiful bow so that'll be gorgeous to color I also figured out and tried already that the um, joy to the woods the birch trees and that they'll actually fit inside of this so I want to hang this wreath on top of a birch tree um, as a card sort of thing so I think they'll look cute because obviously we you either hang them on a door or you put them over top of something so so yeah and even like it this holes big enough that you could actually stick a critter's head through it so I think it would be really quite cool to do some either you know fancy cutting or um, do some fancy masking and have the critter's head poking out the front especially maybe the seal or something because it'll be this way or something like that or even like the little lion because obviously the wreath is more Christmassy and they're used to having the um, you know their mane or whatever around them so I really just want to test out my little critters and see what will look cool in there and I just think it would make something different um, sort of card um, aside from the wreath you get this really gorgeous present it's quite big too whereas most of the presents I already have are quite small so this is very big and I can you know put them across a card or you know stack them in a corner with some masking and stuff like that so they look layered and color them up in different spots and under a Christmas tree and all sorts of things and I just love that it's such a, a pretty present um, you also get a little tag which you can you know attach to I don't know it'd be kind of nice to use the critters and make them look like toys and put a tag to it and say to you from me so all the little stamp sets here fit inside the tag there's happy holidays Noel to you from me with love and for you so I like that and you've got like the holly the mistletoe a solid bow and the most gorgeous font for Merry Christmas really 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 pretty so um, it's gonna be super easy to use this because I think in previous cards I've made like I use the Sally's ABC's to get a really pretty Merry Christmas font because um, I don't really have too many pretty ones like fonts for let's say Merry Christmas so this will just make life so much easier now that I have one all in one stamp. So that's awesome. So that's that.